Every year in January, I say the exact same thing. I say, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make more videos. I'm gonna make some content without fail. End of the year comes, I've not done it. Too busy doing this, didn't have time. Camera's not right. Lens isn't the right type of lens I want to use. All excuses. I've decided February 1st, I'm gonna start making a video every single day for one month. So by the time March 1st rolls around, I should have filmed, edited, and uploaded 28 videos. And fingers crossed, they're gonna get better. <laughs> so bear with me on this first one. So I figured for this first video, what I wanted to be able to talk about was how I got started in photography, how I became a headshot photographer. About nine years ago, I, well, nine and a half years ago, I met my partner, Emma. Within two months of knowing each other, we went on holiday. Uh, we went to Valencia in Spain, which is a great place. It's not too touristy. And all holiday, I didn't even own a camera at this point. I just kept stealing her camera continuously. And eventually it got to the point where she's just like, stop nicking my camera all the time, get your own. So I thought, okay, if I'm gonna do this, I should do it properly. Like I should buy like a DSLR, like a real camera. So I did all my research when we got home and eventually I settled on buying a Nikon D40, which was a, a little six megapixel beast. I bought the camera and I was playing about with it and just trying a few things out. I happened to meet a photographer, a wedding photographer called Daniel Caloran. And I just thought, okay, I'm just gonna ask him. You know, can I can I come and work with you for a little bit? Can I like assist? Can I carry your bags to begin with? Can I just ask you questions? Can I pick your brain? And it was a great way to be able to get started because I had an opportunity to be able to speak to someone who knew photography, who knew what they were talking about and actually get some information straight from them and get some advice and a little bit of critique. And eventually after a couple of months of working on I thought, okay, I can do this. Why not? You know, I can start doing weddings on my own. Just got into it. I got into wedding photography and got started and I had a great couple of years of doing it. But I found that I just sat so somewhere in the middle. Um, what you find is that because with wedding photography especially, there's a lot of people who sit at the bottom who are just really cheap and then there's people who sit at the top which are like really expensive but amazing photographers and I just sat somewhere in the middle. I wasn't really cheap, wasn't really expensive and my pictures were okay. If I'm going to carry on doing this, if I kind of want my photography to be a profession, something that I'm going to do for a lifetime, it should really be in something that I actually enjoy, that I'm passionate about. I'd met this girl called Emma Crompton, who I used to work with. And at the time, Emma was an actor. She's now a casting assistant, which is amazing. She needs some new headshots. She was like, yeah, yeah, I'll try them. Let's, let's give it a try, let's see what happens. So I shot the pictures with Emma, um, didn't really think anything of it. She sent them to her agent, her agent liked them, and then just started sending me people, and it kind of grew from there, really. And that was about five years ago now. I guess I got started because nine and a half years ago, we went on that holiday and she shouted at me for stealing a camera. I had no idea what I wanted to do when I was growing up, and it was only through meeting my partner Emma that I kind of discovered photography and decided that, yeah, this is, this is the profession of something I want to be able to do. That's it for video one. So that's my really long-winded, boring version of how I got started in photography. If this video is shit, tell me. If this video is good, tell me as well. I just want feedback. I want to be able to see what I could do to be able to make these things better.